this is the current AEB prototype. I have my sister recording the video over there uh, because this is going to be loud and I want to get everything in frame. Um, charged up the battery today. This is based off of the one that had the magazine in the grip previously, like that. But this one just has it up there in front of the grip. Um, it has a completely, everything that was inside the, or the one with the magazine in the grip has been either changed or completely redone from scratch. So um, the mechanism that pulls the bolt back is uh, heavily changed. Bolt mechanism itself is heavily changed. There's no more mechanical trigger. The trigger is just electronic on and off. Um, during this test, I will not be using the uh, trigger. I will be using this, which goes directly to the motor because I haven't actually tested if it can prime back and shoot everything. Um, on this one, the catch is tripped just by a wedge that the catch passes over each time that cycles back and forth. So there is no uh, mechanical trigger linkage that lifts a thing up when you pull the trigger. So there's no semi-auto, uh, unless you use a microcontroller of some sort. Um, this is my silly scar, 10 inch barrel as far as I can remember. Uh, skinny pusher, but it's in like a half prime state right now. So can't really put it in a magazine yet. So we'll do that after we do some dry cycling and the uh, Grip and Megawell are from the Cynthia prototype, which I thought I had on the table over there, but I don't. So, uh, yeah, that's from the current generation of Cynthia. So, there's this grip, this trigger. Um, yeah, so let's get out the battery into Blaster. Blaster is now live. You getting that on camera? You got that zoomed in good? Cool. So let's try some darts. Okay. Point the camera here, okay? Yeah, that worked really good. Um, next up is to attach the limit switch. There's a limit switch right here that tracks uh, when the, basically the priming wedge that gets pulled back and forth is in full battery or being pulled back. So I need to wire that up so you can't have it uh, stop moving in the middle of the prime, which causes the uh, RAM to be misaligned for magazine swaps as we saw previously. So I need to wire that up, and then I need to wire up the trigger to actually trigger the thing. Um, and then, yeah, this is pretty darn good for a first prototype. Uh, you saw a little bit of squibbing there. So uh, sometimes a dart would double up. Uh, it wouldn't come out the barrel, and then the next one would push that two out the barrel. Um, that will be solved by uh, probably increasing the amount of movement back and forth which will give the RAM more space to move back and forth in each prime, which then I can use to have more sealing surface on the RAM. Which I will go over, try and plug this. Like that, like that. There we go. So what I'm talking about with more sealing surface on this is the ram, which is the bit that seals the breech, um, basically 
is uh, something like this, where my finger is, no, let's do it like this. Here you go, this is the wrap. So it's pushing a dart through like that, and then sealing, firing, and then coming back. The issue with an AEB where it automatically cycles back and forth without user input um, is that sometimes you can have it fire when the RAM is completely sealed, and then as it seals, only like half the air goes through. So that's what is causing that squibbing. So what I'm saying by uh, increasing the length is if I, so let's say that the uh, thing can only come out back to here normally. Um, if it's, if it has to make this same movement every time, uh, it can only seal that amount. However, if I make it able to move back more, I don't necessarily need to have it move back more. I can move the front forwards more and then have it seal more before firing each time, which will increase reliability. So instead of sealing there, I can make it seal there. Something like that. Hope that comes across on the video and I explained that well. Um, but yeah, this is uh, very promising. Um, of course, I fired this without the top cover and everything on it. Um, but yeah, top cover and everything doesn't really affect the functionality of the blaster. Um, the top cover and butt plate aren't structural on this. Uh, they're mostly aesthetic and keeping your hands from getting inside the that the, the hand blender. Um, so yeah, and of course, this right here is where battery and stuff would go, you know, like that um, when you are using the blaster. So yeah, that was honestly better than I expected it would be. Yeah. Bye. Stop the